Hello my Stock Universe and welcome to part 3 of this year's Serie A jersey review. Yes, part 3. Atalanta is the CD team so I thought it's maybe in, instead of having the white one up there let's take the uh, newly acquired home jersey that I have. It's a really nice one. I gotta see when I look at it, uh, even without the sponsor. It just makes the whole background here, and you know, I pulled out all, all subs, changed a little bit around. It, it's a little bit dark. If it wasn't for you over here, it would be a very, very dark background overall. I think I should have switched maybe around a few more shirts, but so be it. Um, I'm wearing Udine, it's another team in there. I have to say, overall, this is a video of, you know, not too many huge teams in there, but we have quite some interesting shirts. Uh, we have the oldest team in there. We have a team from the capital in there and we have, of course, Atalanta and others. And how did I choose? Well, as always, I took last season standings and then I went to final standings. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. And every team with a number three next to it is in this video which means uh, that we, and then I sort them alphabetically and now I'm getting there, which means we actually start with the, if you like, see the team in this um, uh, <laughs> video, which is Atalanta. And the new home shirt, I have to say, is a very interesting offering that I gotta admit, when I saw this the first time, you know, I, I had this away shirt, the white with the blue and the uh, black shoulders, where I was always kind of going back uh, um, and forth. I probably should get a home jersey in black and blue. And then I saw this one, I thought, yeah, this is interesting because we have this um, golden pinstriping in between, which gives it a very, whenever I see uh, some, some uh, pinstriping breaker, I'm sorry, I immediately think kind of South America, although the South American stripes, especially Brazil, um, are a little bit thicker. So, you know, but it has a slight South American feel to it, but it doesn't look uh, bad at all. I, I actually like it. Maybe the color, uh, which is consistent over the entire set, is the one thing that maybe could would look a little bit different but it also is not a bad look now uh one reason why i did not decide i mean the main reason is yeah at the moment you still pay full price and i was hoping that some other jersey will uh drop out a little bit cheaper and that this one which i think is a, is a better jersey uh than this one but the centralized crest to have the Radici sponsor, which is not in here, uh, basically where the crest should be. If the crest was a little bit uh, flow over, so between maybe the, uh, yeah, the blue and the black stripe, I think I would have liked this one a little bit better. But uh, it's a pretty strong and interesting offering, I gotta say. Um, eight stars? Eight stars, I think. Uh, star, we start of well. There's nothing really wrong here in any regard. I do like the away jersey even better and you know the one that I have with the um, shoulder yoke is really nice but I, I have to say I almost like this one well, yeah, better I mean uh, here the goddess is kind of you know it's the gold on the white maybe that, that that's a little bit too stark of a contrast but other than that I really love the pinstriping in alternating colors that is a genius idea it's basically the same shirt that we had before it's just uh, you know the same pinstriping, everything is the same, it's just a little bit switched around and you get a wonderful, great jersey that looks very cohesive in every regard. This is a beauty, a absolute beauty. Would I give it 10 stars? Maybe just not because uh, the color does not look fitting with it. And as I said, the goddess is a little bit too... Uh, <laughs> how to say, if I say naked, it's not wrong, but you know, uh, it's a little bit too bare out there. But other than that, it's really, really nice. I love this one. Nine stars. And I kind of a little bit regret that I got the other one, but I need another other, other shirt. And uh, yeah, so maybe this may or may not enter the collection. Now, the one that now Atalantinos will be very happy with is this uh, third jersey in coral of all colors. However, uh, it is already up there as one of the most beloved jerseys because you won just uh, this uh, past week at Juventus and at Napoli wearing this one. At, at Juve, I, I still don't understand why it needed to be worn, but okay. I find the color choice a little bit odd. However, you know, if this was an inter away jersey, this would be a whole lot more contentious. I mean, no uh, uh, absolute rival of Atalanta. Yes, Milan, there's a rivalry there, but you know, um, it's not Brescia. 
uh, if pressure would wear red, this would be a no-go. Uh, but I find the color just, you know, this coral, is, is it red, is it pink? You don't know. And then again, central is crest because we have the sponsor uh, on this side. Uh, the color really looks weird here with the red. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You'll see already, color was a, a little bit old. There is a subtle print pattern on there, which is the new stand, uh, uh, main stand for the At Atalanta fans, which I think is a nice touch. But I have to say, I'm not very pleased with this jersey. And while the other two, I really like this one, not so much, and I'm gonna go five stars with that one. Moving on to the oldest team in Italy, which is, of course, uh, Genoa. Again, supplied by Kappa and Classic Genoa look, and this time we get even brighter red, which I do uh, like to be honest. Uh, no sponsor so far, which uh, makes the print pattern even more stand out, which I think is a city map of, of the city of Genoa, which uh, I think is pretty fitting. And yeah, kind of a little bit having... Genoa is one of those teams that I actually should have uh, in my collection as well, being the oldest one, one of those those really storied clubs. I really like the crest being very, very big. Classic look. I mean, uh, there's not much that I can fault for, except that maybe a little bit of imagination is missing. So I'm uh, gonna go 8. I also think that the city print, although I like it as a nice touch, it's just something looks a little bit odd as well. Doesn't it? Well, but I think it's an eight-star jer uh, jersey cup, but doing a good job overall. Um, I do like the away jersey a whole lot better. Um, simple, classic. What can can can, can say more? I even like that they have the half and half look preserved, and then you have the crest exactly at the line. This is a perfect crest placement for a half and half jersey, especially if the crest also is half and half. Um, it looks a little bit bare because other than this, but I, I love this big chest stripe uh, across and half half. So uh, I'm gonna go nine here. You know, a white jersey with club's colors will always, always please me. Uh, and the first time I saw the third jersey, I thought, man, is this original and nice. I mean, there is kind of uh the the walls of a palazzo in there, and you have the full crest of the city of Genoa in there. My only real complaint. There is so much to love here. But why grey? One of my least favorite colors out there. But other than that, this is spectacular. In every regard, it's spectacular. So yeah, uh, the great grades it down. I mean, I love the off-center stripe. And I said, it, it looks like a little bit the mural, uh, you know, uh, like of a palazzo. Uh, you have the windows on there. You have the, um, the walls, the bricks, and, and, and so on. Uh, there, there, there's really a lot of work in there. And I think the... That the city of Genoa is giving them the crest uh, makes it really an outstanding look. I mean, it, this is uh, where the eye immediately goes to. For that reason, I think it's an outstanding design that I just deduct points for the choice of grey. And I know this is ridiculous, but uh, eight stars. Sorry, uh, but it's that's a nice one. I gotta say. And so we're at Lazio. This is Lazio shirt is very much like this one. They are playing Lazio. Nothing spectacular. Blue, yeah, a little bit pinstriping in the blue, white. I don't expect anything else, but, uh, you know, classic look, but a little bit boring, isn't it? We had some more interesting stuff from Lazio. So, yeah, uh, for lack of imagination, seven. However, it's all outdone uh, by the wonderful. This is a wonderful away jersey. White with the dark blue shoals and light blue. I mean, this is a color combination I will always love. I really, really, really like this shirt. This is one of the better ones out there. If it had a little bit more uh, reference to Rome, I would give it 10, but the colors super pleasing, super sweet, every, every, everything. I'm gonna go nine stars here. It's a very, very nice shirt overall. And then uh, the uh, third shirt also. Black, but look at the crest. This is something different. This is kind of the 80s style. I do like that one. I like the black with the light blue. It, I would like it maybe navy a teeny bit better because it also would fit with the eagle. But I think black is also a very nice color for Lazio. Um, uh, so yeah, <laughs> I still want to have the 1890 shirt that is based on this crest all over. But uh, it's a nice one. Uh, I like it uh, better than the home jersey, but not as much as the weight jersey. So it's kind of obvious that I'm going to go 
eight here. We're gonna go a little bit fast in this video to, to be honest, but I have to say, uh, as I said, the teams are not as big and probably that's not a bad thing. Now, the newly promoted team, and it's kind of funny that they follow right after Lazio, given that uh, up until recently, or maybe at the time the shooting video, is still, they still have the same owner, which is not allowed by Serie A standards. They should not have been allowed to be promoted in, on, in any way. As far as I, I know, they're trying to find new own ownership to sort this uh, messy situation. Salernitana, I'm all that I've said here. I think it's great that Salernitana is in Serie A. I think it's it it gives a little bit a uh, different uh, flavor to the league to have another Southern team in there. Uh, and the jersey I really like this is dark red. It's worn with uh, black, and I think Zeus is doing a really good job the, the, the set is actually overall a really really nice one i like the crest i the black uh, slivers here and there is maybe a little bit off but i actually do like the color it's very simple but overall nothing really bad eight stars i think i have no problem with that um the away jersey uh it takes the similar template but it adds a little bit the light blue in there uh for the c i guess uh, and then the sleeves, but you know, could the red go a little bit further for up? Maybe that is the one thing, but maybe the template doesn't allow it. So uh, it looks a teeny bit odd, but overall also not bad. But I'm going to go six stars here. Uh, we have a third jersey. Same look. It's almost a straight reversal, except that the gold is added. Uh, it's also pretty strong, cool look. Seven. 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 We, I know I'm gonna go fast here, but you know, if I can, there, there's not much more to add. The one that's a little bit the head scratcher of these is maybe the fourth jersey that they, they were wearing. This, this is this is Milan uh, in the blue and the white stripes, but this is the original Salernitana look, and so they bring back a historic look. Uh, the sleeves look a little bit teeny odd uh, because you know there's a lot of white, and then you have the stripes again. But maybe not too much. I actually do like it. It's, is it very Salernitana? Maybe not, but I actually like this. This is uh, for me on par with the home jersey. It's a, a different look. Uh, very nice. Gonna go eight stars here. As I said, Zeus uh, really uh, delivered a very good looking set. A small team, small source of supply, but I think overall it looks really, really, really nice. Speaking of small team, we're going to the one that I'm wearing, Udine. It's, it, it's at least a small town, but I think, meanwhile, this is a giant almost in Italy because they're always in there. Uh, but more towards the bottom half. Um, what can I say? I mean, it's not the eighth look at that last season, but black and white stripes for Udine, you cannot go wrong with this. The color I love, but I think it's a little bit too high here. Uh, the Dutch sponsor looks better. I think there's a little bit more, but I really like this one. I mean, there's a, sh a small shadow striping within the stripes, but I think Macron again delivered a really great shirt. Is it as outrageous as this one? No, definitely not, but it doesn't need to be. It's very classy in many, many ways. So I really like this one. And then Prosciutto San Daniele, the San Daniele, mm, well, very nice Prosciutto, I gotta say, on, this, on, on the sleeves, made a Dutch sponsor. Uh, but I actually, I mean, I would love it if it was a little bit more golden like the crest, but I think the green, you know, it's kind of slightly in there. I do like this one. Eight stars. I'm gonna give a whole lot of nice grades at the moment. Uh, the away jersey though falls right into this Adidas, uh, Calgary, whatever, Sheriff category. We can discuss the colors. Maybe it's not the best color trade, but the, the, the gradient, uh, you know, this is straight taken out of the book from Adidas uh, uh, with the kind of hexagons. Then the weird color on there, like Ma <laughs> Macron Memorial color, I want to call it. Uh, it's not my favorite there. So that, that, that was a little bit odd. Uh, but you know, it's also not a bad shirt overall, but I, I only gonna give this five stars. Do we have a third jersey? No, we don't. We are already done with this video. I cannot believe it. Uh, way, I'm selling you short on this one in many ways, but yeah, leaves you now more time to uh, beg you to tell me which jersey in this video did you like and where do you agree and where do you disagree with me? That is for me always the most important part. Of course, there will be a poll out there as well. So tell me which ones you liked and which ones you didn't like. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.